Hello. Good morning, Tony. Yes. Hi, yes, my name is Chris. I was giving you a call back in regards to the house, uh, the rent-to-own house on Ventura. Uh, I'm just yeah. going to give you a call back and let you know how our program works. Please, please. Great. So it's a rent-to-own program, as you probably saw in there. Uh, a down payment is required to move into any of our homes. We get houses like that and others all over St. Louis City and County. That down payment goes directly towards the purchase price of the home. There are no rental deposits or anything like that, just a down payment. Um, then you have a monthly amount that you would pay for a period of time, but you would eventually have to either qualify for a loan with the bank or either get some type of private financing to actually buy the house. It is a lease option, so you have an option to buy. But like I said, a down payment is required to move into any of our homes. About how much did you have to put towards the down payment? Um, that's what I was going to ask you. Usually how much does is actually required? Uh, we don't have any amount that we put out or anything like that. We just simply ask, you know, the, I will say, though, the more you put down, the lower your monthly payment could possibly be. So we just uh-huh. ask for something reasonable. Uh, what do you think you could raise to put towards the down payment? I know I, I know, I could come up with, like, two grand. Is Would that be fine? Uh, typically we get, um, you know, what I see, I mean, you could apply with that, but I don't think that will be approved, to be honest with you, because uh, typically what I see is about 10% of the purchase price. Or something like that, but uh, you know, okay, you so that would be that, close to six thousand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it just depends. Okay. You know, they don't have to always be that much. It just depends on you know the situation. But we usually don't do anything for one or two thousand because it's more like a rental deposit, and it it's a uh, kind of high risk for us, and we don't do any rental deposit. It's just a straight. So, thing. so would it actually be better for me to just go through my credit union and just get a loan for the house itself, and just take it from there? Well, you have a couple of routes. You can do it that way to buy the house outright, or you can just go get a loan or a small loan from somewhere just to get the down payment and, you know, and then get whatever you want. You can take your time and, you know, qualify for a loan and it's got a future date. So that's basically what it is. It helps people get into the house, you know, and if they like it, they go ahead and get the qualification and uh, they buy it. You know, you have an option to buy it. So okay. it's totally up to you if you want to exercise it. But, you know, you can not actually move in it, you know and enjoy it and live in it and say, you know what, I really like this house. I'm going to go ahead and get a loan for it. And then they give you, you know, whatever you qualify for at that time. And, and we basically just give you time to get all that stuff straight. You know what I mean? So you can still have somewhere okay. to live and you still, you know, it just kind of helps people move along kind of quickly. Right, 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 because. Yep, so we have that's houses that's... all over town, so it just depends. So if something changes, let me know. Just shoot me a text message back because we get a lot of calls. Okay. We get about right, I was going to say back. because I actually like that vicinity. And I, you know, and I had saw a few houses over there that was actually empty, and I didn't know if you guys had them or they were somewhere else because there's no rental signs up, but they're empty. Yeah, they're just vacant. Those, I mean, some of them are vacant, and some people don't want to sell them. We we buy houses like that all over town. So, like I said, we buy a lot of houses, and we usually, you know, either sell them outright or either put them on one of these type of programs where we can get somebody in them, and they can, you know, actually get qualified for their loan or whatever they need to do, and we just give them that time to get that taken care of. Okay, so um, do you all, like, have a list? Well, it all depends on your down payment. So, you know, once you get something, you know, you just text me back and let me know when you get something, you know, more than that, and uh, we'll send you all the houses that are available at that time. Because we okay. get houses all different price ranges, so it just depends. Because, like, right okay. now we have, like, three or four, I think. So, you know, it just depends on, you know, what you can come up with, and we try to get you something that you can actually, you know, qualify for and get you in there, and you'll be good to go. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.